Welcome to the Spend Wise Moms channel, your homemaking resource hub. Yesterday, I made the best mac and cheese ever. It was so good. This recipe is definitely worth trying if you want a dish of good tasting mac and cheese. I will leave a link to the print version of the recipe in the description box below. Cook about half of a package or around eight ounces of dry elbow macaroni pasta according to the directions on the box. Drain your pasta and set it aside. You'll see in the video that I used shells because I didn't have any elbow macaroni. It really doesn't matter what shape your pasta is. When your pasta is cooking, grease the casserole dish you plan to use. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Gather up the following ingredients to use. 3 tablespoons of butter, 3 tablespoons of flour, 1 and a fourth cups of whole milk, a half a cup of half and half, and 2 cups of shredded cheese. I usually use all or mostly cheddar. Once in a while I use Gruyere cheese, but don't use mozzarella. If I have partial packages in the fridge, I'll use those to make up the 2 cups. It's just fine to mix it up with some Colby or Jack, but usually I use mostly cheddar. Then you need also a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and pepper, half a teaspoon of dry mustard, a fourth of a teaspoon of paprika, a fourth to half a cup of chopped cooked bacon. You can also use real bacon bits in a package or you can use ham if you prefer but real bacon really adds a good flavor. For the topping, you need three to four tablespoons of panko breadcrumbs and three to four tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. But since I love Parmesan cheese, I usually add a bit more. Measure the panko breadcrumbs and the Parmesan cheese in a separate bowl and then mix them together and set it aside. Melt the butter in a pan. I usually use a frying pan and I always use a whisk to stir. Add the flour and stir it together. It's gonna be kind of thick, and then add the milk a little at a time, stirring to avoid lumps. Also add your half and half as well, and stir it on medium low heat until you bring it just to a boil and it starts to thicken. Once it's thickened, turn down the heat to a simmer and add the cheese. When the cheese is melted, turn off the stove and add your salt, pepper, dry mustard, and paprika. Add your bacon and your pasta as well. Place this in a greased casserole dish that you have prepared. Sprinkle the topping on the mac and cheese. Bake at 425 degrees for about 10 to 20 minutes until the top starts to turn a light brown and it starts to bubble on the sides. Remove it from the oven and let it cool slightly if you can wait to eat it. Enjoy. Thanks for watching the Spend Wise Moms channel. Please subscribe for more videos just like this.